most incredible part about the Glee Club and Chorus is that you can hear three distinct sounds from these organizations. One with the Glee Club alone, the all-male voices, then with the chorus alone, the all-female voices, and then a combined mixed choir that brings the caliber of the two organizations together to bring a completely unique sound. I remember walking into my callback rehearsal for the chorus and I wasn't really sure what I was expecting and immediately I was just overwhelmed by how amazing the chorus was. I mean, I had never been with so many amazing singers in my life. I'd never been a part of a group that sounded so great, had such a warm tone. And I thought to myself, well, this can't get any better. And over the past two years, I've learned that the group is always striving to get better. Uh, every day, every rehearsal, we're always pushing to be better than we were. And Robert has done a great job, not just from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, but over the course of years, he's just taken the group to new heights. Every single semester is another musical challenge and every single semester is another musical accomplishment. And that is one of the most rewarding aspects of being in both organizations. So we celebrate music of all kinds, and uh, I happen to love music from the Renaissance and from the present day and from around the world. And we try every year to, uh, to represent all of those different styles um, and, uh, and share them with our audiences and, and with each other. But a really special part of what we do is to try to add to the great big body of fantastic music some more music of our own time. And we have the resources here to commission uh, new composers every year to write new music. Um, one piece for the chorus and one piece for the Glee Club every year and every once in a while pieces for the other ensembles or larger mixed pieces as well. It's so satisfying to say this is a world premiere of this piece and, and they can be they're so different than anything you've seen because it's brand new. We've taken brand new music and performed it uh, for the first time ever at Carnegie Hall with a professional orchestra there. We've performed at uh, the United States Supreme Court in a private audience uh, with two of the Supreme Court justices. We performed at the Kennedy Center. We've sent groups to perform at Lincoln Center. In terms of our presence on campus, we are pretty involved and pretty visible in a lot of different ways. We do sing at commencement, we sing at convocation for new students in the beginning of the year. Um, we actually got to be on stage with James Franco this year at commencement, so it's kind of amazing and kind of unreal. And it gives us really a front row seat at all of those events, and it's a kick uh, when there are 20,000 people in, uh, in Sholkoff Stadium. Uh, watching a big event uh, to be right up there in the front of everything and uh, to add to the event rather than just uh, witnessing it from afar. With all of these musical opportunities and performances, you might think that uh, being in the Chorus and Glee Club is a full-time job and takes up your entire Cornell life. Um, in fact, it's actually just four hours a week. Uh, you can be super dedicated to the organization and love it and also do any number of other things, um, and people do. <laughs> Being in the Glee Club and Chorus also gives you the opportunity to audition for one of our subset a cappella groups. For the Chorus, it's After Eight, and for the Glee Club, it's The Hangovers. Performing uh, in a completely different setting than typical Glee Club concerts, uh, it really brings in that whole other aspect of singing at Cornell. And it's just a really great and fun way to sort of use these skills that you build in the Chorus and apply them to the stage and perform in a way that's can totally different from what you normally do in chorus. And we have a place for everyone here at uh, Cornell with the, the chorale and the chamber singers and the glee club and the chorus and, and obviously any number of student run groups as well. And it just opens up so many opportunities and such a great way to meet people and sort of find your niche once you are at Cornell. So don't be afraid, just jump right in and do it, it's totally worth it. <laughs>